Yo, what's good? Let's check out episodes seven and eight of Anitas. Logo reveal. Now, make sure you follow my socials and don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you wanna check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. And that way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive reactions that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while for series like Made in Abyss, Tanya the Evil, The Devil's a Part-Timer, Ascendance of a Bookworm, and so many more to come. We've got a tier for that. So previously on the case study of Anitas, now this is a series I have not watched in four months, okay? It's not a series I didn't like. This is a series that I actually did very much enjoy. My issue was that it, it didn't perform very well. And so with the amount of subscribers we had and the fact that it wasn't performing so well, I was kind of turned off by, by wanting to watch it. So I stopped about halfway through the season. I stopped with episode six, but again, I did enjoy it. I think that in episode six, it sort of rounded out the things that were occurring within that ballroom or whatever. And I think the episode ended with the clock tower scene or the, the bell tower scene, right? Where it's been four months. I think um, Noe and Vanitas were talking in the, the bell tower. And they basically, I think Noe basically decided like he's going to stick with him. I'm pretty sure that's how that episode ended or whatever. But you know what? We can always just watch the next one and should, should jog my memory for a lot of the things that happened previously. So with that said, let's just jump in episode seven. What does Callow mean? God damn. Oh, okay, so I assume it has something to do with not knowing things. Okay, cool. I was like, damn it, you hit me with a word I don't know. They're dancing together? <laughs> it just reminds me of so much, man. I forgot how he's just, he just like is very like out there, outgoing, and he always wants to see new things. And Vanitas is always trying to reel him in. Ooh, sheesh, that looks good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I had to take a moment to remember. For for a moment, I was like, wait, doesn't Dominique like Vanitas? And then I had to like replay what occurred previously. And no, no, no. It was no way that was from her past. Or rather, she's from his past or however you want to look at it. Um, Vanitas was separate from that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had to just remember everything. Okay, cool. It, it kind of threw me off for a second. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Mmm, yummy. Y'all want some, dude. You you know Vanitas is looking at it. He's like, oh man. Ooh, that shit look flaky. Mmm, that's a big ass cake right there. Fair. Yeah, yeah, so that is what what occurred in the last one. Yeah, all of this shit happening. <laughs> hey, you might have asked what love is, but you better not be asking. Hey, Dominique's like, hey, you only love me. But he don't like him. <laughs> Look at him, he's so smug. Jean feasted on him, though. <laughs> My bad. My <laughs> bad. Cause she liked it. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> he put them on blast. Oh no, she put he put her on blast. <laughs> oh, you don't remember feasting on him? <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, are you troublemaker, dude. Uh, oh, oh. He, he was making the, he says it was a joke now, but he knows he's real about it. He just doesn't want to put John in a, in a weird situation. 
Nah, you know, you know, part of it was, you know, you wanted a face on him. When we see her face, she's gonna be blushing like a motherfucker. Damn. Yeah, that was a little petty the way you worded that. She needs to feast on him a little bit more. Give me that neck. Oh, wait, that means something else. But your cake. <laughs> Why is everybody leaving through the window for real? Hey, man, at least they're not doing uh, like uh, Destiny and Tacked Off Destiny, just blasting through the fucking wall. Aww. Mm -hmm. He has a name. Aww. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Aw, oh, he's tussling her hair. Oh, she's really flustered now. Oh, he went evil. Oh, he went evil. I mean, he's kind of tall, bro. I thought she was tall. Exchange, you got a feast on me. Basically. You got a feast on me and me only. How is his jacket so puffy, dude? Ah, uh, she's flustered. Yeah, it really rocked him to the core, rock solid, if you know, if you know, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's literally what he's saying right there. <laughs> that's, that's literally what he's saying, okay. Science. Yeah. You bet you do. You bet. Ha <laughs> Oh. Okay, well, I don't know about all you want. Like, you gotta keep some for yourself. Otherwise, she is going to suck you dry. Okay, that's not the way I wanted to word that. She's like, can I get a little taste? A little nibble? Ooh. Vanitas. Let me get some of that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, uh, get some of that blood. Okay, so him asking what love is, that's a, like a later on thing. That's not like a right now immediate thing, I'm guessing. So he's just... For, it's, for him, it's like all like the taste of stuff. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is where things are getting a little spicy. I want to touch your skin. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, he's sucking her shit, too. They're sucking each other. They're just sucking. They're just sucking each other dry. <laughs> the delicious blood. Ooh. Ooh, Dami's going. She's red. I saw the tip of her ear looking red as fuck. Oh, I ship them. They're cute. I also ship the other two, so... Too bad for Luca, right? And this is where he asks the question. Ah, ah, ah. Aww. Damn. Oh, man, she don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck, man. She's a she's a bad boy, but like a girl. So I guess she's a bad girl. Yeah, she's a bad girl. She doesn't give a fuck what people think. She's cool. Look at them. Come on, now the boys need to dance. That's what we want. We want the boys to dance. That's what we're here for. So dance with me. Aww. Best friend. So is no way gonna take the the lady role here? Ah, ah, Luca. <laughs> he just said he wasn't very good at it. What is love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me.
Hey, you're being too loud, bro. There's a big-ass echo going on. Yeah, he's catching feelings. Stop looking at John, bro. Look at Dommy. Yeah, I think that... Whoa! Ooh, he looks so fancy here. Right there. And he was supposed to be the one teaching him. Oh, it's this guy again. He kind of saved the day at the end of that, that little arc. Stopped uh, Vanitas from dying, at least. He doesn't understand. He is so oblivious to the way that he's phrasing. Like, he doesn't understand that she loves him. I think that he probably also loves her. He just doesn't know it. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. End of the episode. Next one. Oh, I lied. Okay, yeah, yeah. End of the episode. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to skip the ED. We're just going to jump into the next one. That was a good episode, though. That was a good episode. Talking about love, you know? No way is a character that just doesn't understand it. Doesn't understand love. But I think that he is trying to. And that's very important. So um, I really enjoyed this one because it sort of set up a little bit more for Vanitas and, and Jean. Uh, or Jean, however you want to pronounce her name. I don't know. Set up a little bit more for the connection between them. Vanitas certainly cares for her. She might reciprocate maybe not immediately but down the line though she do like his blood she be drinking we also see more that luca cares for john so that's another thing and then of course we already knew that domi care or dami dami cares a lot for no way loves no way no way is just a little too oblivious to notice it and i think that even in this episode you can see that he just doesn't really notice it and he's just he's because he doesn't understand love so he doesn't, he can't tell. As a result, he just kind of, you know, says things that are very indicative of somebody that loves someone. But he himself isn't saying things like, I love you, because he just doesn't, he doesn't understand the feeling. I think that down the line he could. And um, that would be great because I love the two of them together. So let's jump into episode eight. Oh, the okay, so they're in the, the, the Queen's castle, like, this is like legit, legit. Hobby room. This man must love to read. The shapeless one's child. Er, we just gonna like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna gloss over the fact that he just called him the shapeless one's child. What does that even mean? And then here, your teacher genuinely loathes me. So the teacher would be um like Domi's uncle, something along those lines. Hmm. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, what the hell is that? Science. Hmm. The queen's fangs. Oh, wait, this dude is second in line? Or next in line, rather? Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's an advisor. Ooh, sus, sus, sus. Vanitas is like, mm, I can cure him. That is super sus. The fact that he's reacting in that way. Hmm. Bringing him from the curse is not in his best interest. Dude, his whole eye is gold. That's weird. Um, I don't know about that one. Dude, this man wants to murder him, I bet, dude. Unless he finds it amusing. Oh. 
Oh, he might be onto something. Please tell me no way just helped him. Or not. Nope, he didn't. Oh. Damn. Wow. That is very, very interesting. Because he just struck a nerve. I think he's fucking onto something. I think he is actually onto something. For that guy to react, like, this guy is so powerful. For him to react like that and not just be like, haha, that's, you're, you're, that's laughable. What you said is laughable. No, no, he didn't react like that. He reacted in a way that seems like his nerves were struck. Like, I think that Vanitas might actually be onto something there. Why else would he react in such a, such a extremely violent, hostile manner? Hmm, that is, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Vanitas, one thing I like is how he just doesn't give a fuck, man. The information you most wanted, you was motherfucking right. She is sick. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, what the fuck happened to her? Oh, my God, dude. Time to go solve a case. The boys are on this one. What is this? Yeah, what happened for real? Oh. Maybe he's the bad guy. Ah, it's the sign of the, oh, oh, wow, who's this guy then? Ah, that's not the end of the episode though, right? That's like halfway, that's like a halfway point. The, whoa. <laughs> Tourist attraction, seeing people's skulls in the walls. Yeah. Mm. Are those all bones? Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, if they're... Dude, just assume they're in a church somewhere. Check churches. Hello? Or do they, wait, do they not know that they're like a church related thing? He's sus. He's sus. I don't know what's up with him. He's, he's giving off like a, like a, like a spy vibe. Hmm. It's intriguing. I feel like he could be potentially working with the enemy. He was alone when he was attacked. You know? And he was reading? <laughs> oh, that's kind of mean. I still don't understand the way that jacket works, bro. It's so floofy. Not following. Yeah, let's go. Oh, they're stealing the robes. Ooh, okay. I kind of like this drip. Oh, this gives me vibes of uh, of that one moment that we see in like the OP, I think. A secret tunnel, secret tunnel through the mountains. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Damn, y'all gotta crawl in here? Oh. 
That's interesting. Oh, okay. A lot of fucking skulls here. Hide your eyes! Uh oh. Hide your eyes! Don't let him get him! Aww, he's so bashful. Aww. <laughs> he's not a fan. I wonder if he knows or not. Hmm. Oh! Hide your eyes! Your eyes! Your eyes! No! Well, no way is about to be number one. About to be the first one. What the fuck? Oh, damn. Damn, dude, that sucks. That was the end. Oh, cliffhanger. It's okay, I'm about to watch the next two. That was good, man. That's pretty good. See, this is what I was saying. Like, this is a series that I enjoyed. I liked this series. This was a fun series to watch. It is one of the ones that I enjoyed most during the summer season. And the only reason I didn't keep up with it was because specifically, I didn't have a lot of time and it just wasn't, it wasn't performing well. And so a, a lot of the times we uh, judge performance, uh, like I've asked Diana to just judge performance based on likes more than views. Like views are one thing, sure, views are important. Views mean that people are watching the video, whatever. But likes, that's a better thing because if something is being liked more, and that means people are actually taking the time to do that. Instead of just seeing the, the video and the thumbnail, clicking on it, watching for like two minutes and then leaving. No, no, no. They're actually watching more, presumably, and then liking it. They might even be watching the whole thing. Uh, so likes are a big factor in how we determine whether a video is performing well. And specifically, this one just wasn't getting a lot of likes. Like it was getting decent views. Yeah, but the likes were not there. And so we pulled back from it. But... Again, because this is a series that I enjoyed so much, it's one that I want to catch up to and watch the second part of. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm watching this so that way we can watch season two in winter because I do enjoy the series and I am actually excited to watch it. So with that said, uh, let's talk about what we got here. So the first episode, episode seven, that one mostly focused on relationship building between characters and the establishment of uh, No Way, his He's just not understanding of love, right? He doesn't understand love entirely. He doesn't know feelings. Like those feelings are just weird to him. He doesn't know whether what he's feeling is love or not. I think that that's something he's having trouble with. And for some reason, he looks to John a lot, like looks to her and thinks that maybe he loves her. I don't know. It was kind of weird, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe it's not that. Maybe he's looking at her and hearing what Vanitas has to say about her and then, or noticing that Vanitas cares for her and trying to figure out what it is about her that makes him love her and see if he can see those same things so that way he can determine those things in the future for himself. That's sort of what I was getting more or less, not entirely sure. Uh, Vanitas does have her make a deal with him. Basically, um, John is only allowed to suck his blood and she has to refer to him by name. So she has to start calling him Vanitas, not human. It's, it's a fair deal. I would I would say it's a fair deal. And then in episode eight, that's where shit gets spicy because they visit the Lord Duke or whatever. And Vanitas says some ballsy shit, dude. He says some very, very ballsy stuff that I honestly didn't expect him to say. Yeah, he definitely sets off the Archduke quite a bit. He is quite mad at the things that Vanitas has to say. Basically says that the queen is the reason for the curses. She's dying. Why hasn't she been out in the in public for so long? Like there's something suspicious going on. And so, yeah, he's like, you motherfucker, bro. Y you had no intention of coming here to really speak to me. You wanted to throw an accusation out there and see the result of it. Now, apparently vampires should respond in a very aggressive manner to somebody 
um, disparaging the queen, you know, like, or, or, you know, disparaging remarks towards the ke queen, um, a vampire should react in a very aggressive, like, how dare you sort of way. And so that's what the Lord Duke does. But we find out, first of all, that Luca is actually supposed to be the next Lord Duke or something like that. I, don't, I think that he is the Lord Duke, but currently the uncle is taking charge there. I think as his guardian, he's taking charge. Um, but Vanitas notices that Luca, his response is one of, oh no, he knows. So Vanitas now knows. He was right. That is very important because that's gonna play a role down the line. But also Vanitas and Noe have now been banished from ever stepping stepping foot into the castle again. So that's, that's not good. <laughs> I'm sure that like, if it is the queen, getting to the queen in the future is going to be pretty tough. And that moves us into the next part of things where Vanitas and Noe, and then of course Vanitas's crew, they are investigating the Chaucers. They are investigating specifically this church group that seems to be like killing vampires, essentially. Uh, it's their job to hunt vampires. So they are investigating and they actually go into this church and then find a secret passage, go into these catacombs, and they think that they've fooled this one guy who who seems to be quite like, what's the word? Like bubbly when you, when you, an airhead, that's the word. So basically like, seems like very, oh, I'm lost. <laughs> you know, that type of vibe. He's giving off that vibe. Like he's knowledgeable about things, but he doesn't seem to be very um, responsible. I don't know. Maybe that's the words I'm looking for. Something along those lines, but that's the vibe he's giving off. And it was bullshit. He is actually way more in power and way more responsible, way less of an airhead than the vibe he initially gives off. And so he traps Vanitas. Vanitas is now encaged. And beyond that, he's got no way in a, in a sticky situation because he's basically blinded him essentially because of the vampire eyes. He uses this little device that does something. Then he injects some shit in his own neck, which I assume is going to give him some crazy powers. And that's essentially where the episode leaves off. So we're going to be jumping into the next one to figure out what the fuck is going on here because things are now, well, things have already gotten real. They've been real since like, you know, episodes five-ish, five, six-ish, somewhere around there. They've been real for a minute. And um, now we're stepping into the next section of this where they are investigating this church. So with that said, I would love to know what you all thought of this down in the comments below. Please do leave a comment about what you thought. I would really appreciate that. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content, since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.